Hey everyone, thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue playing as a Russian SFSR. So right now, we're taking a look at my old bad fleet that I would say that I would have already gotten rid of if I didn't use them already. So I'm thinking, you know what? Where you still have them, you still have some use. Let's at least use them and abuse them before we're done here. So I've got a couple extra spare screens right now. Three light cruisers and seven destroyers. Pretty good ships. Uh, Anti-air is actually extremely good on these cruisers. Uh, I know this probably isn't the most optimal build at the current moment for light cruisers, but regardless, they can still pack one hell of a punch with their light attack and piercing towards other screens. So I'm going to go ahead and throw these 13. Oops. Over here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, do that. That's fine. There you go. So you got a couple screens as well. You guys are doing naval invasion support, which actually will help quite a bit. So that'll be good. That's actually very good. And I have five ships still. Extra screens still uh, training for a little more naval XP. Because I could really use it. Apparently we have an invasion in the mid-Atlantic gap. Uh, battleship and six destroyers versus quite a few destroyers. I think we're going to win. Well, especially with some carrier group bombers or something. Anyways, let's see. Well, since I'm talking about Navy stuff already. Anything here? Anything here? Nope. Good. Let's see if we can make any more upgrades to our carrier. Level 4 anti-air. Uh, we currently don't have any deck armor, do we? Deck armor. Deck size. Yeah, it doesn't look like we have any armor. So let's go ahead and throw at least one thing of armor on here. I always like to put at least one thing of armor. Just one. Not anything more than just one. Because sometimes the enemy's AI, they might not produce enough piercing to pierce your armor. So that's why I always do that. We could do a secondary battery, but if I do dual purpose, that's already pretty good. Obviously, we want carrier engine level 4, level 4 radar, which is extremely good. And then, probably just more hangar space, honestly. The more planes you can put in and field, the better it can get. That's good. Do that. You come into Leningrad. Uh, yeah, Leningrad. We don't need to rename Leningrad because we still like Lenin, I think. Uh, I could probably reduce these by a little bit. There you go. Give it down to... Uh, uh, that looks pretty good enough for now anyways. Cool. Actually, we're not done yet. Let me see something real quick. You guys have level 3 anti-air. What if we had level 4? Ooh. Level 4 sounds a little better. Oh, I can't do that. Do that. Oh, crap. I did not mean to do that. Oh, I just took it off. God dang it, I only have one naval thing. Uh, well, uh, I didn't do anything there. You saw nothing. You saw absolutely nothing. I totally didn't remove my own anti-air from my own carriers or cruisers, so... Anyways, we still got some enemy ships destroyed, so... Uh, yeah, don't do what I did, kids. Anyways, we're trying to reclaim or take over the rest of South America. We Last time we declared war in Bolivia, and our tanks, or actually, are really our marines, are moving into Bolivia. Even though they don't really get a benefit to moving... They actually have a penalty when attacking into mountains. Can I attack here and see what happens? Oh... Um, uh, not bad. The breakthrough is really good. Really, really good, which is awesome. You want as much breakthrough as possible, or at least... Yeah, you actually do want as much breakthrough as possible, so you reduce the damage you take when you attack. Good. Nice. Awesome. Ooh, we lost four planes. Ooh, there's an American fleet somewhere around here. And I am going to start thinking about moving my fleet actually out of this area, and move it closer to Japan so we can invade the Japanese islands, finally. For right now, uh, Iberian Coast. That's a lot for the Iberian Coast. I'll split you in half. You're all heavy fighters. Um, get rid of you two. Add you two. Come over here. You guys just barely have enough range, but... The Naval Bombers have very good range over here. Oh, there's a carrier over here. Nice. Oh, did we sink something? Nice! Twelve more destroyers and two enemy convoys. Great. Another enemy convoy. We lost a plane. Shut down or sunk four enemy convoys. Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. And we are preparing to invade Ar Argentina as well. So that'll be great. Could you guys just, like, go straight to La Paz and get rid of them? That'd be awesome if you could. Oh. Convoy sunk. Convoy sunk. Something was lost. A couple planes. Oh, there's they're definitely an enemy navy up here, which is not good for some of our guys. And since there's an enemy navy... Let's respond with a couple more uh, thingy-thingies here. Thingy-thingies, yeah. Thingy-thingies. Perfect explanation. 
Also, someone did leave a comment that, yeah, I'm doing a good job most of the, most of the time. Uh, well, guys, really, you'll, you abandon the area that I told you to not abandon. And then you come over here, and then you lose the area. Okay, then. But, uh, someone recommended I take a look at the mod called Black Ice. I've known about Black Ice for years now. I have tried it once or twice, but I know. I've tried it. It's almost like what the guy said. And, oh, carrier sunk. That Black Ice is almost feels like a new game. It's so incredibly complex that, that I kind of don't want to do it just because it's incredibly complex. It's so complex and I'm like, oh, the Hoi 4 looks way too easy compared to the Black Ice mod. So, I mean, I'll look at it. I actually should already be looking at a different mod that I've never played before. Maybe for the next playthrough, next campaign of whatever I, you know, end up choosing. So, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about the next campaign already. I still need more time to work through it, let's say. And... You know, discover it and figure everything out. Nice, we took another care. Great, 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 great. But yeah. And our allies lost the Labrador. Great. 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 But regardless, um, yeah, I, I know about Black Guys. I think I still have it installed, the mod at least. So I'll take a look at it again, but odds are I'm probably not gonna be able to do very much with it. And I really want to get this stupid Azores Portuguese it's supposed to be Portuguese island, but obviously the Americans took it over. I think it was the Americans. Yeah, those are Americans. God dang Americans. So, yeah. I don't think we'll be able to win here, but you never know. Oh, they still have quite a few enemy ships around here, too. Yeah. They're just way too well dug in. Yeah, I can't give you a force attack, either. Oh, well. Yeah, we're still losing. We're still losing quite a bit, so. Attacking this area is nearly impossible. Garbage tier. Uh, let's see. 1951. For better tech. I'm going to go with experimental rockets, finally. It, took, it takes the Russians about six years after 1945, after the Second World War, to figure out how to get rockets. Despite Germany being my puppet the entire time. Uh, I lose quite a few planes, but we do end up sinking a third carrier. Wow, guys. As well as a light cruiser. Mmm, very good. Tasty. Good. Good. Another convoy, convoy, and a light cruiser. Great. How many ships does the U.S. have? Uh, yeah, less than 100 probably. Maybe around 100 ships. That's pretty good for us. Uh, for right now, we still need to do a little bit more convoy raiding. You guys are doing the training. Did you lose something here? Did you actually lose a ship? No, you're repairing. Okay. Whew. Uh, do I have subs? Subs are all over the place. Definitely do this area, though. You have to do this area because this way, if they don't... If they can't get supplies, they can't defend very well, so... And I know I'm completely ignoring South America, but uh, my guys are generally good enough where I don't have to really rely on watching Bolivia fall. So Nice! Five American line cruisers, two destroyers, and then a couple Mexican convoys. Awesome job, guys. American convoy sunk, five more American convoys sunk, followed up by five more American convoys sunk, followed up by an American destroyer sunk. Love it. No wonder the Japanese Navy still hasn't been beat. The Americans are doing nothing against it. Yeah, for you guys, just go straight on in there if you can. That's really the best method. Ooh, we actually were able to get to the Amazonas. Amazons? Amazons? Take one of you guys, too, so we can attack here. And then once we over over here, if we can take it, hopefully then, we will be able to, uh... God dang it, guys. Increase... Put a port here or something. I think that'd be really good to get some supply in. And to make sure that we don't starve. Oh, what is this? Lower the autonomy of a puppet. I wonder who it could be. Ah, uh, Iran. Actually, I did want to annex Iran for quite a while, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, there we go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right, so we got their... Div Actually, I already had two of their divisions. Let's see. Their tank division. Let it keep going for now. Mm, 18 combat width. Not really my style. No, we got... Two more days until we have max fuel. Mountaineers are 40 widths. So that's, that's actually pretty good. I'm going to keep you and throw you onto this guy still. Awesome. Better anti-air. The next upgrade for modern tanks is 1950-something. I didn't really check. Oh, I definitely get better logistic companies. And we have a couple guys left. You, are you all the same or not? 40, 40, 40, 40. I think you're all... Actually, you're not all the same. 
Uh, regardless, throw you on here. Makes it easier to look at. Oh, you're all the same. Okay. Cool. If I turn you in... Oh, no, I have their templates too. God dang it. Ah, oh, that's garbage. Uh, I really don't... Ah, oops. I got rid of the wrong template. I am messing up so hard right now. But that's alright, I got enough army XP that doesn't really matter. Whatever. Uh, infantry death plate, heavy tanks, mountaineers, infantry. What else do we have down here? I hate. I really don't like how the AI just makes so many different types of templates. I mean, yeah, it could be good sometimes, but honestly, a lot of these are garbage. I mean, have like one, maybe one or maybe two templates of the same thing, like these paratroopers. There's like seven of them, and because I made a mistake, I need to uh duplicate this again and actually make a mechanized infantry so let's go ahead and do this mobile mechanized oh, i only made one mechanized 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 and then yes 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 oh yes 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 and then Yes. Do that. Get some more mechanized. That looks pretty... Actually, I want you to be replaced with maintenance company since we get more reliability for these things. 40 combat width. Motorized rocket artillery is still pretty good. Awesome. Mechanized. I don't use those. Motorized. We'll, we'll just use mechanized instead. Let's go ahead to make sure that I don't actually get rid of my divisions again. Let's throw you over here. We got four more, in which I will throw you to nobody since we're still making some divisions. Good. Get a little bit more manpower back. Ships, I should be okay on. Oh, Iranian Communist Authority Task Force 1. These ships are garbage? Probably. Design? Terrible. Absolutely terrible. You know, I could use more ships. And yeah, I could use them for escorting, like, convoys and stuff, but I'd rather not deal with it. Actually, you know what? What I'm going to do... Oh, they have a... Actually, quite a few destroyers. Oh, how many destroyers did they make? Throw you over here. Uh, everyone come to over here, the Baltics. Come to the Stockholm. You guys are just my regular ones that are just doing whatever. Actually, at this point, you guys can stop training since I'm going to use all these destroyers and actually train the living crap out of them. That would be better. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, oh. That's good. And let's go back and correct my mistake that I made earlier. Oof. There we go. Much, much better. Uh, yeah. Reduce that down to one, one. I'm making quite a few light cruisers. Holy cow. Do that. Followed up by that. Followed up by that and then followed up by that just to replace whatever we're going to miss and then y'all will all come down to Leningrad Leningradigrad cool and then plop 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 also I have tea here I haven't really drinking it yet but let's take a taste yep tastes like tea not bad it's not bad tea but it's still green tea Oh, nice, nice. Oh my goodness, what has happened here? A lot of planes have been shot down. We lost a sub, that's not good. Lost another sub. Lost, it looks like another sub, lost another sub. Lost a sub and a few planes, but they definitely lost quite a few planes as well. And convoys, good, good. Destroy those convoys. They don't deserve to live. Can't nuke this area yet. The enemies actually are really trying to defend that area. Let's go ahead and throw some more heavy fighters here. Nice. Also, I forgot. Since I annexed Iran, I think we've had enough time to fully integrate them into our alliance. Or really do that. So I feel okay about actually making these my core territories. So, uh, What other parts of Iran were well, not ours? Because they were with us. I think this was the first nation that we actually took over. So I don't mind co coring these areas. Because, you know, we're, we're here to create an a-religious, a-ethnic uh, utopia. 
socialist communist utopia where everyone is welcomed. And uh, yeah, we're going to go with that idea. So it's okay to court these people because they've been fully indoctrinated or re-educated, I'll say, into believing what we want them to believe. Exactly. Nothing like freedom through socialism and communism and Trotskyism. Love it. Where are you guys at? You're sucking too much supply up, so I'll get rid of you. Cool. Awesome job. Ooh, we sunk two more American uh, destroyers. Bolivia refuses to die at the current moment, but something tells me that I'll make sure that they really do go die. Great, more excavation. Great. Uh, 1954 is quite a ways away. Japan is called Bolivia. Wait, they joined the Japanese, huh? Didn't know that. But now I do. More aluminum? Sure, why not? Sounds good to me. Ships? Did I lose a plane? Shot down an American convoy. Good. Still can't do that area. We have 300 heavy fighters. Uh, you know, do that. Because we could probably honestly use this. What is this? Oh, it looks like the Danish are trying to attack the island as well. Too many guys are fighting for the Azores. Uh, you know what? Increase it by 400 more. That'll be good. And yeah, we can't have full coverage here, but, you know, it's what we got. Ooh! Quite a few more American ships. Oh, I forgot there's an island down here, too. Huh. Oh, the battleship is... Oh, there's convoys. Okay. Yeah, you guys go right ahead. See what you can do about that. Alright, so, I really need Bolivia to collapse. So this way we have one major front against the enemy here. And it'll be nearly impossible to kill all these guys off. Awesome. So. You guys are over. Um, I don't really need you guys over here. I'm going to save a little bit on car insurance by getting rid of some divisions. Alright then. Geico. I love it. Instead. You guys are still making your way down there? Jesus. Come on guys. That'll be good. Fighting through South America really sucks. But, you know, what else is new? You guys, go ahead and border the Chileans. You'll focus on taking out the Chileans, so when we go to war with Argentina, that'd be pretty easy. Cool. South America's turning into one hell of a mess. But that's pretty normal. It's South America. Can we actually win here or not? They have five divisions? Wow. And as long as they can't get reserves or, you know, extra soldiers, that'll be good for us. We do not have a strategic bomber close by, so let's fix that. Strategic bombers, where are you? Dive bombers, jet tactical bombers. I know I've got some heavy fighters, heavy bombers. Heavy fighters, oh, they're near the top. Yeah, there they are. Plop, and then, um, plop. Get rid of some of these extra wasteful things. Don't need that. Yeah, I could give these to my allies, my puppets. But I don't think that it would be really feasible for me... To, oh, don't want to get rid of that. Don't think it'd be really feasible for me to get rid of uh, or annex anyone else in terms of puppets. Just because I haven't had enough time with them to actually fully integrate them into our way of thinking. We'll put it like that. So, don't think it's really possible. Keep those fighters. You never know if you might need them. Awesome. Cape Verde Plain. Uh, other than that, I mean, yeah, this island is nearly impossible to take at the... M oh. Yeah, okay. Go ahead and nuke them five times, and then let's go ahead and immediately invade. Uh, excuse me, guys. Thank you. Ah, the Azores. Nothing like a nuclear bomb to make it Portuguese. As long as I leave it unpaused. Ah! So good. Ponta Delgada. And that actually does help reduce the amount of airplanes they can put in there. So overall, that's really good. And we also sunk a battleship. Great. And two more American light cruisers. Two more American convoys. Two more American convoys. We got a drop tank. Two more American convoys. Followed up by an American heavy cruiser. Ooh. And then an American convoy. Great. That's actually immediately get for the next drop tank, which actually helps reduce the penalty in terms of agility and speed from the first drop tank. So that's actually really good to immediately go for the next one. The next level. And, ah, uh, beautiful. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Hooray. Awesome. And our Coast Guards will be arriving here very shortly. Good job, guys.
It only took us like 20,000 tries. Hmm. Strategic bomber. Right here. I can send you this way, actually. For you guys, you are battling out with some enemy convoys. And that's how we reduce the casualties. Or increase casualties for the U.S. How many casualties have they taken? They've taken 6.35 million. All right, interesting. Very interesting. Were my guys not successful? I suppose, or maybe they were. Maybe they weren't. Oh, I'm using Polish divisions. Interesting. Uh, please, thank you. Go ahead. Nice. More. Oh, there's definitely an American Navy up here somewhere. Lost a plane. Yeah, there's more American ships up here, which is good. Alright, we sunk another American light cruiser. Great. Keep losing planes, but I think we have more than enough to spare. So, actually, with those islands done, it might be a good idea, actually, for me to invade, like, Venezuela if I really wanted to. Just because fighting through South America is such a pain in the butt. It's not even fun. It's never been fun. It's always a pain in the butt. Uh, actually, let's get some airplanes over here. I mean, we're still going to have to invade through uh, Alaska, because that's part of the added challenge, because someone wanted me to, to try that, so I'm going to try that. But to do that, I have to take out the Japanese, so. And this is turning into one hell of a mess. Oof. If you can, be very careful and go ahead. It uh, looks like, oh, we can't increase La Paz infrastructure. Uh, that's really not good. We have quite a few divisions around here. It might be best for actually for us to remove our tanks, because they could be eating up supply around here. So that actually might help if we go to war with Argentina to get more access to Chile to take them out. So you guys come down here. We've got these two full stacks around here with some allies as well doing some business. So that'll be good. I mean, the front down, oh my gosh. The front down in South America has kind of stalled, but that's okay. Look at that. Battleship, 14 destroyers, 4 more carriers, and 9 light cruisers. But, I mean, slowly but surely, we are removing as many ships in the American fleet as possible, despite... Oh, look at that. That's a really great battle, and it's not really a battle. I mean, there's only planes duking it out, but yeah. Planes are just so good. Oh, another carrier was sunk. Oh, and then 3 more enemy ships were sunk as well. Just beautiful. All right, where are those uh, boys? And by boys, I really mean um, for you guys, you could probably use these five. Those are destroyers. Acoustic mine, great. Sure, get this one. Naval mine lang, don't really care. Uh, oh, here they are, 108. Yeah, go ahead and do this. I don't think you can get any upgrades from just training. This isn't like EU4, where you, if you like train your army, you could become a better, uh, get more better fire or shock tactics that'd be kind of cool though if you could so yeah we're gonna really grind out a bunch of xp hopefully awesome so uh i mean i could invade oh awesome we sunk the part of the fleet the uss intrepid great job guys great job so it looks like we have this area fully done so let's go ahead and take our good navy do that i could invade over here but since the area is kind of a stalemate i do want to take out the japanese so everyone, I want you to go ahead and repair. Everyone's going to go ahead and repair. And uh, yeah, have a good time. Because some of you guys, well, and some of your fleets, only two ships are actually serviceable. So go ahead and repair. And then I will go ahead after that, move our fleet to the Pacific. And then begin the invasion of Japan. And you know what? I'm probably actually going to try something not smart here and invade with a lot of tanks. Because nothing says a naval invasion like using tanks. You guys, do something like that. Because if you can just land a couple tanks and enemies can't get rid of you, then it's kind of over for the enemies. So, tanks. Tanks. Tanky babies. Do you have anything here? Nope. Awesome. Send three. Oh, actually, you have to click on this guy. Click on the general, not the field marshal. Vladivostok. We will invade... I always invade this island, I'm not sure why. I always do that though. Two, one, two, three. Same place. And take that area over as well. That would be good, because you can probably actually reach all the way up through here, I believe. Yeah. 
you can reach all the way up through here with that port if you can grab it real quick. Which is actually very, very nice. So, then one, two, three. We're going to focus mostly on northern Japan. So, if we can take that area, I'm going to attack this area too. And then, uh, do from here and invade over there. That should be good enough. I'm going to go ahead and position U3 over here. U3 over here as well. U3 down and close to Vladivostok, or end of Vladivostok, and put U3 over here across the tile border, just because I don't want things to get too costly in terms of supply. Cool. Because South America is pretty much a stalemate. Yeah, I can do more down here, but whatever. Ah, uh, ooh, ooh, that last sip of tea. Oh, oh. Mmm, mmm. Wow, they're really pushing through here. I can't increase the infrastructure of... I can do this. But I can't do the Amazonas, which really, really sucks. You guys are starving for supplies, which is great to see. So. You guys could do that. That'd be great. Send some boys to help out on this side as well. They shouldn't be able to defeat us. No, they shouldn't. And we were successful. Great. Uh, Argentina. Let's go ahead and do this. Great, great, great. You guys are pretty much ready to go ahead. Uh, how many divisions does Argentina have? They have up to 11, so that's more than fine. Oh, we can lower the autonomy of another puppet. Brazilian Socialist Republic can be reduced to integrated puppet. Awesome. Even though you were the most recent country I have liberated. Against the enemy of the workers. And we have more factories. Hmm. I need more naval dockyards. Logistic. Oh, good. We got better logistic companies and aluminum production companies. Do we need anything? Do we need anything? I don't think so. Cool. I'll go back to the factory soon enough, get better maintenance companies, and then maybe better engineers, because why not? Uh, we have enough aluminum. Let's do that. Good. Steel's pretty good. Oh, how many... Oh, goodness. Hmm. Why? Why would you nuke this? Now I have to fix the infrastructure here. God dang it, guys. Why? United States, why? Ugh. Uh, I guess I could use a few more naval dockyards. That's actually quite a few naval dockyards. Uh, in the end, just keep building up infrastructure all across uh, our land so we increase supply, maybe, or areas that we don't really actually need. Whatever. I know I won't ever actually get to, to all of this. But yeah, go ahead and increase whatever we got around here. This is how I usually end most of my campaign, just increasing infrastructure pretty much literally everywhere. So. And surprise, and you'll be surprised at how much infrastructure you actually build over time. So. If you don't pay attention to it, of course. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, look at all that blue. The potential will have blue. So good. All right, that's enough for now. And boom, done. Good enough. Uh, sure, I'll take you guys. Throw them on the Coast Guard. Sounds good to me. Just go. Uh, actually, you can't go ahead. We don't have the justification yet. We gotta wait two more days. And... Actually, we could use our navy to help defeat these guys, but it probably won't be too necessary. Let's go ahead and go through Argentina. I guess should be good enough. You guys do that. Also, I got rid of the other... I uh, joined the Japanese faction, of all things. Alright, well, whatever. Uh, go and do that. It doesn't really matter to me. You guys... Subs. You guys are training. You guys have nothing. Go ahead and do this. Just so I can see where you guys are currently at. Repairing in the Azores. Moving to the base in Sengal. Good. Do that. No assigned regions, which is good. Go ahead and repair. Just keep repairing for now. because Oh, baby. Japanese destroyer, destroyer, convoy. Ooh. We will definitely have to make sure that we have absolute air superiority around these islands. Actually, make sure we got that done, that there. And probably that there as well. That's probably some of the most important things that we could do. You guys are doing nothing, huh? All right. Well, you can do coast of Japan because we definitely need some air coverage over there. And then take you guys. You have enough of that, so you can do that over there too. 
You guys are doing absolutely nothing. I'm not sure why. Take both of you, split you up in half, and then do that. That. Take you guys off of that. And then for medium bo bomber wings. Do that, that, and that. That'd be great. Send you guys... Actually, send you two to do the home islands, and you two do the Sea of Japan. And for you guys, take half of you guys, do the home islands specifically, do the Sea of Japan, and then the rest of them go to the coast of Japan. That'll be really good. Nice. Japan. Ooh. They're actually hitting... Oh, there's quite a fleet around here. Not very good ships, but there's quite a fleet. Oh, yeah. Uh, we need to take a quick look at how many ships Japan actually has. Oh, well, they have 124 to 120, 134, so that's actually not too bad. That's better than I thought. I thought they would have, like, by this time, like 300, but I guess not. Oh, we actually have the Amazonas. Great, great, great. Do that, too. So, that means we might actually be able to strike over here. Five divisions dug in. Yeah, didn't think so. Never mind. Didn't work out. Take half of you guys, and take you two to attack... Ooh, maybe not. Yeah, these guys have flooded this area so badly that it's not going to work out very well for us. How's Argentina going? Argentina's going very well for us, though. Go and be a little more ham about it. Oh, and they nuked Rio de Janeiro. Okay, seriously, Brazil? I don't want all your divisions here. I know you don't want me to annex you, but I'm not going to plan on annexing you. Holy crap! Wowzers. Well, we're sinking destroyers, light cruisers, destroyer. Even if they're docked, we sunk a heavy cruiser, which is awesome. Lots of playing, you know, happens. A battleship, nice. Good job, guys. Uh, just in case, actually, I'm a, I forgot that I should probably put some heavy fighters around here, too. Just because I will be moving my soldiers, my fleet, through the waters of uh, around China, so... This will actually be, probably be really good to do. Actually, increase you by 100. Nice. Good. Good. Very good, very good. Very nice. Very nice. That should be pretty good. Yeah, just in case, you know what? Let's throw in 400 more maritime bombers here, too. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Do that, that, that. Eastern Japanese Sea, or... Eastern China, East China Sea. Okay, East China. Alright, another fleet, small task force, I mean, down there. Oh, the pride of the... Oh, wow, the pride of the fleet was sunk, too. Nice. Good job, guys. Jeez. Drop tank 2, awesome. Oh, we can't get drop tank 3. Oh, we need jet engines, huh? Alright, well, I guess it's time to do some jet engines. So, we're already doing rocket engines, then we'll need jet engines. Okay. Yeah, then we'll do that one instead. Nice. This would actually be a really nice way to get rid of the Japanese fleet. Uh, other than that, you guys are doing naval invasion escorting. I don't think you really need to do that. You're all docked in Sengal. Can you do... Where are they supposed to be at? Oh, you're supposed to be down here doing stuff? Hmm. Patrol. Cape Verde Plain, operating in South Central Atlantic, which is right here. Uh, those two areas are pretty good. Yeah, let's keep it like that. I think that's pretty good. So, that's pretty much all the time for what we have today, guys. Uh, I'm thinking I might just play this a little bit ahead of time. Okay, Brazil, stop this. Stop this madness. Just because we can keep things moving, and at least let's get to the point where I'm ready for the invasion of Japan. Not much else is really going to go on, so I think I'll play this just for a little bit. Not too much longer, but just to make sure I get my ships actually to Japan, mostly safely. And then prepare us in the next video to invade the Japanese home island. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. I will check out Black Ice once again. And I will see you tomorrow as, like I said, we will invade Japan. Thank you guys for watching.